How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? When it comes to our prayer, would we say we are persistent? Jesus says, for everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. To the one who knocks, the door will be opened. But perhaps might some of us too easily and quickly give up on our persistence in prayer. Perhaps out of impatience, frustration, sometimes boredom. Might we easily give up on prayer and move on to the next thing? This is Jesus' exhortation for us to be persistent, to persevere. Next, when we pray, what do we petition God for? What do we ask for? How often is it the Holy Spirit? And this gospel should fill us with hope, joy, and confidence Because as we heard, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Many of us, in today's circumstance and world, looking around, even within our own hearts, we have concern and anxiety, a real fear. There's division in our world, even in our church, in our own hearts. And two, we see decline, less and less decency, human respect, and practice of the Christian faith. But I invite us, think of those first apostles who had locked themselves in the upper room. These are the first Christians who found themselves anxious, concerned, and fearful after they witnessed the Lord crucified. And they stayed there in that place, locked up, sort of paralyzed, until one day, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, Everything changed. Today, as a church, I'm very convinced we need an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. As a diocese, as a parish right here, as individual families, as individuals, we need the Holy Spirit. And when he comes, if we are receptive, everything can change. And as a metric for the future, we as Christians, we don't simply rely on sociology, sort of mindset, uh, surveys, politics, but on the divine, the supernatural, Because when the Holy Spirit comes, how things can turn. I think of the year 1979, Pope John Paul II, brand new Pope at the time, had announced that he would return to his home country of Poland. At the time, Poland was under the oppressive hand of communism. And the communist regime did not want this pope to come. But they realized they couldn't stop him. There was just no way that the Polish people would tolerate their Polish government to not allow a Polish pope to visit their country, Poland. And so on June 2nd, 1979, the pope arrived. And the nine days that followed, absolutely turned history. The day of the Pope's arrival was the eve of Pentecost, and one of his first events was to offer the Holy Mass 
there in Warsaw, in Victory Square. It was one of the most moving events I've ever witnessed on film. Because upon his arrival, the hundreds of thousands of people who had gathered there, in prayer, what arose was this song, spontaneously. And they sang, we want God. In our families, in the care of our parents, in children's dreams, we want God. And then in his homily, the Pope emphasized the preeminence of Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of the world. And in no place can Jesus Christ be kept out. And the people started to sing. It just rose in prayer from their hearts. Christ wins, Christ reigns, Christ commands. And when they finished, those hundreds of thousands of people, they started in ovation. The Pope paused. He waited and waited and waited until the applause finally ended. And it ended up being 14 minutes straight of clapping. Absolutely incredible. The Holy Spirit can do with a community, a congregation, a crowd of people. The Pope, he concluded his homily with this most powerful prayer, petitioning heaven with everyone there, and he said, I'm calling out with you all, speaking to the Father, let your Holy Spirit descend, let your Holy Spirit descend, and renew the face of the earth, renew this land. From that day forward, things turned. And today, Poland, it's one of the strongest uh, practicing Catholic countries. In the years ahead, as a diocese being led by our shepherd, as a parish, as families, individuals, might we call upon our Father to send forth and give us his Holy Spirit, to renew the face of the earth, to renew our diocese, to renew this parish right here, and to renew each of our hearts.